I wanted to go to a school where I could also play football and basically achieve my fullest academic potential. And CMU basically combined those two in a way that I didn't think uh, anywhere else could. That stands apart to me than any of the other places that I've been to or that I've heard a lot of my friends talk about is that I'm just surrounded by a lot of high quality individuals in all aspects of what I do in terms of academics, work, and athletics. And that's just really cool environment because those guys are pushing you, those mentors are helping you become a better person. And from top to bottom, and you know, CMU just has high quality people. Of my athletic career, um, a couple things pop into my mind. You know, I've been playing since I was a freshman, so I'm going to give you kind of two stories that really are familiar. Um, the first was my first game starting at CMU, I think, I believe. It was against Allegheny, which is a big rivalry of ours. And uh, the guy who was a senior ahead of me, I guess, you know, he had got hurt, and I was going to have to come in for a couple games. And, you know, I was really excited. I thought that I was ready. And, you know, I had a great game, and I actually, you know, ran the ball a lot. You know, I think I had probably over 80 yards or something like that. I think I scored as well. And that was in the fourth quarter, and, you know, we were down by maybe 10 points. And there was maybe four minutes left, and we were driving. I had a couple good runs. And it was, you know, about third and five. And I came off across the ball in a buck sweep and was just fighting for that extra yards. And I got held up by, like, four Allegheny guys. And they picked me up, and they dragged me back. And I thought that the play was over, and they stripped the ball out of me. And as a freshman... I think that that play sticks out in my mind because, one, I don't think I'll ever feel like I let the team down more than that moment because a lot of those seniors had to walk off that field with a loss because of an underclassman. But it also gave me an appreciation for, you know, what it means to be on this football team, how important it is to the guys. And even if you make a mistake, it's a team sport. And everybody on the team like picked me up after that game. So that was one of the things that really helped me develop as a player. And then the second most memorable moment, which is a little more fun, was uh, I think it was my first game, uh, sophomore year against Grove City. And it was in the first quarter. It was early in the game. And I think it was a jet sweep. But I just got the ball, and I, you know, I broke free. I, I busted a tackle, and uh, I was just racing down the sidelines. It was maybe about a 50-yard run, one of the longer plays that we've had in a while. And out of the corner of my eye, I see this safety coming, you know, trying to push me out of the bounds. So I just instinctively just gave him a little, a little inside, and he basically <laughs> nearly fell over. And then I just busted it back out to the sidelines for a long touchdown. And, uh, I mean, you can't beat that. It's one of the best feelings in the game. So this summer, you know, after doing a lot of internship search and talking to the right people, I actually got a position at BNY Mellon downtown in Pittsburgh. And I'm going to be doing foreign exchange trading. So... I'm really excited to get down there, uh, start in a couple weeks, and it's just going to be exciting just to see, you know, that type of trading firsthand, really get to learn, and, you know, it's actually kind of interesting because uh, a guy who helped me get in that position also played CMU football, so we stick together. <laughs> After graduation, I'd have to say that you know, hopefully I can get into sales and trading and start off in New York and have a lot of fun. Um, but the main reason why I want to, want to do that is just because I know that, you know, New York is kind of a big stage and it's a highly competitive environment. And I feel that, you know, this education and football kind of have put me in a great position to be successful there. And I think that it would be a really interesting and also, you know, challenging experience to be with some of the top talent 
in the world. My friends and I always like to, you know, do something creative on the weekends, whether it be going down to Pitt to see uh, some, some people we know down there. I'm from Pittsburgh, so there's usually stuff going down at U Pitt, uh, where we like to go to athletic events, you know, whether it be like Penn's games or Steeler games if we have time, <coughs> or, you know, or, or the Pirates, just for fun. And also, you know, around campus, there's, you know, usually stuff going on on the weekends, whether it be a sponsored event, you know, through the university or, you know, going to a buddy's house that we know and just, you know, blowing off some steam after a, a long week's hard work. My dad played football at CMU. I think it was in the 80s, might have been 84. He played defensive line. He was a nose guard. And, you know, whenever I was looking at coming to school here, my dad had always told me when I was growing up that seeing you was such a great place to go. It was, you know, such a great institution. You know, so much stuff that I thought that he just was kind of schmoozing his own university. Um, but whenever it actually came down to looking at the facts, whenever I was looking at deciding what school I wanted to go to, I, I realized that my dad was right. There was a lot of great things about this university that couldn't be taken for granted. And I think that, you know, you never, you never think you're going to go to the same school that your dad did. It's just like when you're a kid, you just kind of put that aside. But when it came down to it, and I was, you know, actually looking at different schools that I wanted to choose between, one of the things that came to the forefront was the fact that my dad had so many cool relationships with so many great guys that I had benefited from, you know, for my entire life with you know, guys like Rick Creed, and Jimbo Christ, and a lot of the other guys that I met that he played football with who had just, you know, come to the house or we had gone to see them. And those relationships, I realized, were what really is important in life and also in, you know, in your ability to do a lot of things, whether it be in business or engineering, having the solid relationships, I mean, that's what, that's what makes you who you are. And seeing my dad with those, you know, great friends and then looking forward and knowing that if I went to CMU, I'd have the opportunity to build those relationships for myself you know, that was what was really the deciding factor, just because I had seen how much of a positive influence it had on my father's life. And then to know that, you know, I've already benefited from, you know, guys who went to Carnegie Mellon. You know, why not continue to do that? One of the most important things that I could tell a senior in high school is probably don't forget where you come from. And I think what's important about that is that not only does who you are and where you come from add to the diversity of this university, but also that's going to define how you handle the challenges that come up against you. And I remember that at times, especially whenever you're just getting into school, it's so easy to just forget about your roots. And I think that the closer you stay to those, um, and the better that you remember kind of the lessons that you've gained from all the people that, from you know, where you grew up at, it's going to help you stay true to who you are and to help you guide you where you want to be. Coach Lagner is, you know, a great guy, and off the football field, I think that's a lot. A lot of the great things that he does for his players are off the field, and you know, I owe it to Coach um, specifically for the opportunity I have this summer and a lot of the contacts that I've made are through him, because he's willing not only to reach out to alumni and you know guys that he coached in the past and ask them to you know, 
if they have any opportunities for the players. But he's also willing to stick his neck out for you if you know you've proven to him through your work ethic that you know that you're a guy that can be counted on. He's not afraid to share that and to emphasize that to other other people. So it's really had an influence on my opportunities. And I think that you know if I ever needed anything from Coach, I could easily walk into his office and he'd be willing to do something about it.